So, uh, finally here down the set of steps, and uh, had a lot of controversy on the internet about the right way to do steps. So, I'm going to do it. I got a whole set here. I'm going to do three different ways. I'm going to do some with just tack strip here, which you see quite common. Then, I'm going to do some with tack strip on the tread, just like so. And then, I'm going to do some with no tack strip on the front or the tread and I'm going to use the staple gun um, a lot of people will comment and say box store hacks and stuff like that that people use staple guns well I'm going to do all three different ways and I'll give three days I'll go up and real slow once I get done and I will give you guys three days to guess which ones are stapled which ones have tack strip and we'll see if you guys can tell the difference and in three days I'll do a reveal video and we'll see what's going on with that. Just wanted to point out here about sometimes you'll see these things, they'll be too close or they'll be way too high or something like that. So I just want to point out how I judge um, the right height. What I'll do is I'll take my stair tool and I'll just set that right there on my stair tool. And I'll get me, I'm using screws because this is. See that? It's so bouncy I can't nail into it. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just about the thickness of the end of my stair tool is going to be it's going to be a good uh, good distance there. show how I do each each one I'll show with the, just the with staple gun I'll show how I do it with the double tack strip and I'll show how I do it with the single tack strip that way you guys can see every way it don't matter whether we use tack strip double strip or no strip you always want to have tack strip on the side and I'll get into more detail about that in a few minutes okay so I'm not tearing nothing off yet that way you don't see which ones do not have strip which ones have one layer I'm not going to do that just yet but I will show each as I do each kind I'll show how I do each one I just won't show which ones I'm doing that way so so whenever I cut my steps I want to measure them and measure about at about Maybe almost an eighth inch, <coughs> inch too wide. That way we got something to tuck in the uh, side of the tack strips. That's why it's important for the sides. Remember I uh, said it don't matter whether you have tack strip in the back, tack strip up here, or no tack strip. You always want to have tack strip on the sides. And I'm fixing to show you why. Another thing, I will always run my carpet laying down the steps like that rather than laying up the steps and I'll show you this is why you see that right there now look at that see that I think that laying down just looks much better than that standing up so I always run my steps laying down come right here Jerry this is a step of no tack strip here and a half tack strip here so i just want to demonstrate how i do it with that and uh just explain a couple things here so first off i take my kicker and i just want to pull me enough slack here to tuck underneath my bull nose and uh let's see And uh, some people will say at about a 45 degree angle, like so. I tell you, the best way that I've learned how to do it is if you'll put it up there, your staple gun is about a perfect fit for uh, if you just get it right in the corner there and then push it to the bottom, it pushes up 
real tight so you can just like all your pushings here you're not pushing really up you're just pushing toward the step which forces it up in the crack real good okay now I'm about some people I will always start in the center I'll always start in the center of my step you come right here come around and just point right through here there we go okay so if it might be hanging up or anything you want to grab your next step always make sure it's free it's not snagging on anything and I'm at, I'm not kicking. I got all my body weight there, so that's getting a lot of pressure. Watch it move. See that? And then I just mash it on the strip. That is more pressure like that than if somebody was to kick it. Okay? I assure you, because I'm I'm a couple hundred pounds plus. So okay, so I got it up there and stuck in the strip. Hold that right there so that don't look good right there so i still want to take my stair tool and get that nice crease going on in there okay okay now that looks a lot better i'm going to still just because i'm going to shoot me about one two three four just about five staples in that crease right there. You'll never see them because they're packed down in that crease. Okay, now, as any installer that's been in the business for any amount of time knows that whenever they're done steps, how often do you see a wrinkle running this direction on a step? They're always like this. So that's why I will put my tack strip on the side now you have to be careful doing this because studs are 16 inches on the wall so i would usually come down to the bottom step i'm on i'm working on this one i'm going to put my foot right here on the wall below this one here and what i'm going to do i'm going to get just a little push i ain't got to get crazy because i'm going to go both ways okay but watch it move see there it did move and i'm going to pack it in there and stick it on the strip all right, Jerry, if you'll come around to the other side there. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to put my foot on the next step below the one I'm working on because most of them are too narrow to do any other. Now watch the carpet move, okay? See that? So, and then I mash it on the strip. Now this is a very, very tight step there that way and that way so we're not going to have any issues out of having wrinkles vertical or lateral so that's how i do those steps with the tack strip only in the back and uh when we get to the next ones i'll show you how to do the ones with it on the on the landing and on the riser i'll show you that in just a second look right here this is a step tack strip here and here it has it on the riser and on the tread so I'll show you how I do that once again I do start in the center of the step that's a always no matter how I do them and watch watch it move and I'm not kicking because some people say it's a kicker you should kick it but see all that that's and again I'm making sure it's not stuck on that or on the sides that's 200 pounds plus on that so once I get it pushed up there, I'm just going to crease it in between the two with my stair tool. Okay, I'll work my way around the other side. Now that we got that in there we want to make sure it's all flush it's all tucked in evenly or else you get stuff like this right here going on 
So this all has to be evenly or else it gets puckered up here. So I'm going to take my hammer. Just going to knock it in the hole. Knock it in the gap just a little better. Make sure it gets a good snug bite on this upper strip here. Okay. Now again, I am going to go side to side. See that move? Tuck that in there, mash it on the strip. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Okay. Now, once again, that's a real nice real nice uh, tight step there that's how we do it with tack strip on the riser and on the tread okay when we get to the one where we're not using any tack strip I'll show you that one too alright so this is uh, obviously a step with no tack strip here whatsoever strictly using the staple gun and uh, still, we got the strip on the side. I always want to have strip on the side. Just like all the rest, I want to start pushing in the middle. Watch the watch the pull right there. See all that? Okay. So, Ben's, we're not using any tack strip. We want to load this up with staples enough to where it makes a solid crease to where you cannot see the staples, okay? I think that's where a lot of people mess up, is they don't put enough staples, and you can see the individual staple marks. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Push it up, stick it on the strip, watch it move, see all that, okay, mash it down, same thing on this side, push it up, mash it down, now, run that properly. My goal was to shoot more down in the tread instead of in the riser. Because when you're going to cut this off up here like this, you're going to be like, and you're just going to hit a whole bunch of staples and it's going to kill your blade and you're going to go through about five blades just trying to cut this flap off. So we'll see if I done that good enough. Jerry to kick that get Jerry to kick this over and I'll staple up underneath here cut that off and we'll be done okay so we got the steps complete we got three different ways of doing them I'm going to go up each step real slow let you guys take a look we got uh, some with no tack strip we got some with one row of tack strip on the tread and then we got some with um, tack strip on the tread and the riser. I'm going to make a walk up real slow, let you guys get a good look, and then we'll see if you can distinguish the difference.
so today is Saturday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, I will put a, uh, a reveal video up and I'll show you which ones did have two rows, which had one row and which is just used strictly with the staple gun, so until then, give me some feedback, tell me what you think.